everything Gwenny. Uh, I'm coming to you today with another unboxing video. Uh, pardon me if I feel sound a little rough. I didn't sleep last night. <laughs> uh, for those of you that know or have followed along, um, I suffer from chronic pain and a lot of nausea too. So sometimes I just don't sleep. So last night there was no sleeping. So I'm a little tired today. But I received this very lovely package yesterday and I really wanted to open it and do an unboxing video because um, I want to see it and the, the good news is everything in here is for me probably they might become gifts later but right now there's no intended recipients for it so I can share it all with you this package is from the DIY moon shop um, in the Philippines uh, it comes wrapped in this uh, lovely um, she does different color packages. Mine is purple. Um, and the other neat thing about this store, if you don't know, is that she actually, the, the owner actually posts videos of her wrapping your package so you can watch her wrap your package, which is kind of neat. I'm gonna link my video for the wrapping down below if you wanna watch that and just see how it works. Cause it was pretty neat. I thought it was neat anyways. Um, I know there are some people out there that disagree with the store uh, because of the pricing and the shipping and uh, I've said it before like to each their own if you don't if you think the prices are too high you don't like paying for shipping then you don't have to order from them um, I however like the fact that this shipped on July 9th and I got it on July 12th so three days from the Philippines to Canada which is amazing and that shipping charge that they charge carries up to three paintings so obviously I grabbed three paintings to make it worth my while as well um, and you know I just really like the owner uh, she does really good videos her family's really cute they all get involved they make drill pens they do like special kits that you can order like limited edition kits she does um, gifts for new members gifts for every like six purchases VIP gifts uh, I just think it's a great little family run company so anyways let's unbox it so like I said this is from DIY moon shop I ordered it on very late on July 5th because I was probably doing one of those late night shops and so that was a Thursday I believe and they don't ship out um, it usually ships out the next day so they package it Friday but it wasn't ready for the, the DHL people didn't pick it up until Monday so Monday was July 9th and like I said I got this on July 12th so three days that's really good so let's get into it I almost hate to cut it open I actually don't even know where to start to cut it open so let's just go for it so like so the way she does it is she puts it in a box and then she wraps the box in like craft paper and then she wraps the craft paper in the colored tissue paper then she wraps all of that in saran wrap I'm guessing it's like some kind of saran wrap shrink wrap something like that and then she wraps that all up in tape so it's really well packaged it's getting into it is a pain but that's okay because I know it's probably gonna be in good shape inside I mean this box feels very solid there's no gift to it at all I've seen some boxes that people have had that have been a little damaged uh, because of this package packing label it's just a little stubborn here so I'm just gonna cut it right down the middle and pull that off Feels like Christmas, doesn't it? This one was very exciting to me. I mean, they're all kind of exciting in a way, but this one's very exciting. Uh, as I fight with it. Okay, that is off. Now, to get the. Does that even look purple on my camera? It looks blue. It's purple. It's like a nice royal purple. Alright, so oh, there goes the tissue paper, and then you can see underneath the tissue paper, see, is the layer of like craft paper. So really well wrapped. Oh, and it's really thick craft paper actually. It's, it's almost like the weight of paper that is like a, for the vanilla paper envelopes. You know the big ones? 
Wow, this really does feel like Christmas with all the wrapping paper. I love it. My cats will love it too because they'll want to chase it. My dogs are a little feisty this morning, so if they start barking, I apologize. They still don't understand this whole mummy's talking out loud thing when no one's around. They think somebody's here threatening me or something like that. I don't know. I don't know what they think, actually. I sometimes wish I didn't know. The boy's sitting right beside me because he's very protective. All right, so let's, so here's one pack of beads, two packs of beads, three packs of beads. And here are the canvases. And there's something else I think at the bottom. But it doesn't want to come out, so I'll have to open it from the other side. Oh, it's just paper. I should have known, you know, because I wa I did watch your practice. Okay, so just toss that on the floor for now. All right, so three different beads. These I can tell already from the gems. And there you can see that she's already. Oh, can you see that? Sorry, my viewer is upside down, so I'm having troubles. Uh, she's already checked them, but I will still, of course, check them. And so they've got the beautiful beads. This is for my grand wolf picture. Uh, it was the whole reason I ordered from this company in the first place, is I saw their video about this, and I love wolves, anything wolves, pretty much. And when I saw the gems, I just, I had to have it. So that was for that. And then this is the Romance in Paris. I don't know if you can see Romance in Paris, which I'm actually calling Lady in Red. <laughs> and then this is for the Mardi Gras moment, which is also, I think I got the last one when I looked at it. said one, one, in, one in stock and I was like, oh, I had watched a couple people. I had watched her pack it for a couple people and I really liked it. And I was kind of hemming and hawing about it. But when I saw there was one left, I was like, yeah, I'm going to get that. And then, you know, sometimes you think that that's just like a ploy to get you to buy stuff, but nothing else had that. And when I did buy the last one, it, I could no longer find it in the store. So let's open this up. Oh, there's some stuff inside. All right. So this is the little pouch that you get as a first time customer. Um, let's just open it up. Oh, and there's like a cute little sticker here that looks like a diamond, which is cute. I don't know if you can see that. And then just a business card. And again, the pouch. And I see some people say they can like put their wax and their trays and their little pens inside. Mm, I guess, yeah, the trays and the wax fit in. I don't think the would fit though. So I've got, let's see, a bunch of trays and a bunch of wax. Ooh, can you see that? So that's good because of the last package I got I had that tiny little block of wax if you remember and I was worried. But there's lots of wax in here. There's like three good sized chunks, I guess for the three different pictures. And I've got one, two, three, four, five, ugh, five pens and a set of tweezers. And it looks like there's some multi-tips on the bottom there too. So let's just take a look. Cause I haven't got a multi-tip yet. So this is kind of exciting to me too. Cause last night I was working on the gift one that I received in the last video. And I was like, wow, this this uh, this background is going a little slow, uh, especially with the squares. It was my first square one. And uh, I was like, wow, I'd like to try out one of those multi-tools right about now. So 
it looks like I'm gonna get my wish. Yep, there we go right there. So it's a nice, uh, I guess that's, is that a three? Is that a six? I, I don't even know because I've never had one before. So I guess I'll figure it out. So I've got three of these, two regular ones, and then just, it looks like a normal pair of tweezers. Let me just see. Yeah, not bent tip, but just a, just a normal pair of tweezers. And that's that. Okay, whoop, there's a little hole in the bag. It's falling out. Okay, so I will put that off to the side. I've got like a whole pile of garbage over here again. It's like Christmas. Okay, let's take a look at the pictures. The pictures, the canvases, I don't know. So the first one is the Grand Wolf. Oh, I can't see it. So there it is. And it's a partial, which I usually don't like, but this one I like because basically it's all just, I don't know if you can see, let me see if I can bring it closer. It's all pretty much just outlining in black and then the special beads. So you can see like a big bead goes right there on his forehead, which is uh, this big one right here, if you can see. Can you see that? Yeah, so like that. And so this is probably not gonna take long to do. Um, so this will be just, this is for me. I really like this one. Oh, and there's a big bead here too. I thought there was only one big bead. So there's two big beads. Oh, this is the this this is this one then the the red one I guess. And then the, this one's for the top. This one's for the bottom. And then this one is for the top as well, right above his forehead. So yeah, that is very nice. I like that a lot. <coughs> Pardon me, my throat's a little sore again. I think it's because I haven't slept. Huh. All right. So there's that one. This is a, let me just see my list here. This is a 46 by 36. Yeah, thir or sorry, 36 by 46. And it has eight colors, of which a bunch of them are just like one bead. So like that's one, that's one, that's one. The A has four beads. The L has a couple beads. And then the rest is pretty much looks like it's all gonna be 310, which is the black. 118, which is, looks like maybe gray, and then 202. So those are, that's it for that one. That looks good. I can't wait to, to see that. Let me just see. And the canvas is such good quality. It's very thick. I don't know if you can see. And yep, yeah, oh, super sticky. Oh, I love that. I love it a lot. I love it a lot. But I can't do it until after I finish Christmas presents, which is sad. Okay, next up, next up, we have, now they call this a uh, romance in Paris. I don't know. Can you see the whole thing? Hopefully. So there's a lady in a red dress. And the Eiffel Tower is in the background and like a street of Paris. So the reason I got this one is I have always wanted to go to Paris, uh, especially to see the Eiffel Tower. It's just one of those things. And also I have this thing where the song The Lady in Red by Krista Berg has always been one of my favorite songs. When I was little and I was at the trailer park and we used to have dances, whenever they play the song, I would like run into the middle of the dance floor and like just like sway to the music and pretend I was wearing this red dress and I was gonna be romanced. I don't know. Anyways, I'm, I lived in a fantasy a lot. Um, but when I saw this picture, it made me think of that. And so I had to have it. And since, like I said, the shipping covered three paintings, um, I had picked the Grand Wolf and I had also picked the Mardi Gras one, which I'll show you in a minute. But um, I needed one more. Well, I didn't need one more, but to make it worth its while uh, for the shipping, I wanted, I wanted one more. Oh yeah, it's really sticky. This is a full, and it looks like it's a circle. Let me just find a circle, round. Oh, they're all round. So there you go, they're all round. So yeah, that looks really nice. Let's see if I can smooth it out. The, the canvas underneath isn't wrinkled at all. It's just the plastic on top, which 
I don't care about so much because it'll come off when I'm done. But again, this will not be worked on for a while <laughs> because I have Christmas presents to do. All right. So this one has, let me just turn it around so I can see, 40 colors. And it is, uh, it is 48 by 48. Yes, 48 by 48. So that's a good size. So yeah, very nice. Okay, lastly, just put the wolf on top because he's smaller. Lastly, this one, I don't know. I, I just, I couldn't stop myself. Um, like I said, I'd seen some others um, order this. I'd seen her package it. She showed a finished one as well. So anyways, this is a reworked one. The one they had before was slightly smaller and also it had slightly less colors, I believed. Um, so they reworked it to have, be a little bigger and have a little bit more colors for a little bit more detail. And I just think, I don't know if you can see it, that this is gorgeous. So she's got like roses in her hair. She's got a mask. You can see the detail in her fingernails. It's just fabulous. And I saw the finished one, like I said, on her channel when she showed it and it just, it kind of blew me away. And usually when I pick a painting, there's for very specific reasons, like a gift or something I really like. This, it just, it, there was just something about it that said, oh, pick me, pick me. So I listened, I picked it. And I think it's gonna be absolutely beautiful. I'm very bad with uh, getting the plastic out. So yeah, this one is 50 by 40. And it has 35 colors. 40 by 50, 50 by 40. I think I always say that backwards. So yeah, that's, that's that. I am extremely happy with my order. Um, the canvases, like I said, are very good quality. I can see that, I know they checked the beads. Um, I believe, I think the husband packs, uh, checks the beads when she packs, and then she packs them. Um, it's a whole family team. Sometimes you even see their son, Rocket, uh, in the videos. He's so cute. And their new one, uh, I think her name is Zuli. I'm sorry if I said that wrong. But uh, such a cute family. And uh, I don't mind paying a little extra for very good quality, good customer service, and supporting a family like that. Like when you can get behind them because you can see them and, you know, converse with them and they just do such nice things for their customers. So yeah, that's it for this unboxing video. Um, I'm going to pause it now or cut this one and then I'm probably gonna do an inventory one, although I'm not sure if I have to. I mean, I'm going to obviously check all the beads uh, myself, but I don't know if I need to post a video of that. So yeah, that's everything. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you did like this video, please give me a thumbs up. I can never get my thumbs in the picture. Um, subscribe if you want to see more videos. You can follow me on Facebook and Instagram at Everything Gwenny. Uh, leave a comment below. I love comments. I will answer everybody. Uh, I love to chat. I'm a chatty person. Sometimes that's uh, sometimes it's hard to be a chatty person and be home alone all day. So yeah, uh, I look forward to hearing from you and I will see you all again in the next video.